Come on, Natalie, I'm in a hurry. You put coolant in this thing. I don't know. Come on, let's go. I'm in a hurry. You're always in a hurry, but you never get there. Natalie, you're starting to sound like mom. I'm already 10 minutes late. Come on. Oh, wow. A whole 10 minutes. I get a chance to put Saul Craven away for good. You've got nothing against me. No times, no dates, no places, no witnesses. All you're doing is slandering my good name. You should save that smirk for the guy who makes your clothes. Boys. Saul, see you in court. Get your hands down! Get your hands off me! I got ropes! I got rights, okay? That place is crawling with him. The guy's a major loser. Look, here comes trouble. That was Saul in here, wasn't it? Don't worry about him. Look, Mr. Elgardo, why don't you just give us your statement and we can knock off early? Sure. And I'll give you a backdoor key to my bedroom, too. Look, if you want me to testify against Saul Craven, I want protection. Where's that crown attorney you said would be here? He's on his way. But I've already told you the crown prosecutor is guaranteed immunity. I want that in writing. Stand. Stand. You understand? He'll be here. Weapons out! Weapons out. Take it easy. Don't move. I'm not. I'm not moving, just my lips. Just my lips are moving, okay? Richard! You forgot your briefcase. Thanks, sis. Knock him dead. I sure hope so. Don't move! We can talk about this. I said don't move! How far are you gonna get? Think about it. You talk too much. Richard. You'll be all right. Paramedics! Someone call an ambulance! Richard! He was brought across in 1228. Preyed on humans for their blood. Now he wants to be mortal again. To repay society for his sins. To emerge from his world of darkness. from his endless forever night. Richie, can you hear me? Not if I could have done anything. I know. Richie, you idiot. He didn't have to be there, you know. His car broke down. If he hadn't caught me at home... He would have taken a cab or ran to the station. Matt, it's not your fault. I know that. Why couldn't he have just stayed out of it? He had to be the hero. He always has to be the hero. Does Sarah know yet? She was with Amy up at the cottage. They're on their way down. He has a wife and a child now. What was he thinking? Natalie. Have you ever heard the expression, only the good die young? Well, you're seeing it right now in front of you. Come on. You're not doing any good here. Could you? 
you leave us alone for a while? Please. He was going to come up to the cabin with Amy and me, but business, you know. What am I going to do if he doesn't make it? He'll make it. Makes me so angry sometimes. A job of his. He's obsessed. He loves his work. He's good at it. I know. I know, but if I lose him because... Mommy, when's Daddy going to wake up? Craven case, business as usual. Although after what she signed, that Vanessa Delgado would trust us to guard her place in the supermarket checkout line. You always knew where to find trouble, Richie. Hmm. Or was it trouble always seemed to know where to find you? You remember that time in college when Jim Armstrong wanted to beat the hell out of you because he caught you with Janice? You gotta be just as slippery this time, too, Richie. You gotta get out of this one, too. You have to. You got a family this time, Richie. Any change? Come on, let me take you home and get some rest. Richard? Oh, Nick, hi. Ned, I'll wash him for a while. Please, you have to get some sleep. No, I'm, I'm staying. I want to be here in case he comes to. I want to. <laughs> Man, are you big headed. Richard. <laughs> oh, sweetie. Daddy. Hi. Hi, guys. What hit me? It was a 38 caliber truck. Don't worry, we got the guy's plate number. Oh. <laughs> I knew that guy looked bad. You should see the other guy, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh. I must get the drop on the guy, too, you know? Just a little. Move faster. Not enough trips to the gym, I guess. You just rest, Richard. He is going to make it, isn't he? Through. And it doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't. 
He doesn't deserve to die, Nick. I know. He's a good man. You don't have to tell me that. He's got a, he's got a wife and a baby. And I don't think Sarah's going to survive this. <laughs> He's my little brother, Nick. He's strong. There's a chance he'll pull through. Uh, no. There isn't, really. I've cut up people who died from less. There's only one person who can save him. Leave it in God's hands. God made a mistake this time. And you can fix it. Only you can fix it. Make him like you. Give him back his life. I want you to make him immortal. Natalie, no. You don't know what you're asking. Oh, yes, I do. Richard is gonna die. You know that, and I know that. But I can offer him that is not life. Oh, come on, Nick. I've known you for a year and a half. I'd say you were alive. In fact, I'd say you had a pretty good life. You're human. You've got feelings. You've, you've got emotions. I've, I've seen you laugh. I've seen you get angry. I've seen you show compassion. Yeah, those are human qualities now, but I'm not human. And, and I don't even think the sun is as big a problem as we thought it was. Well, I'm, I'm sure I could... Sure. How can either of us be sure? We have made progress. I watched you hold a crucifix. I know that I can make you human again, and I can help Richard just like I helped you. My brother doesn't deserve to die, Nick. He spent his whole life trying to do good. I know, I know he's a good man. He works as a prosecutor for nothing. He watched his friends take six-figure salaries, and he hung in there so that he could help you guys put away the bad guys. You, you know, we used to tease him about it. All his life, we called him the White Knight. What's happening now isn't right, and it isn't fair. It isn't fair to Richard, or, or Sarah, or Amy, or me. You're not being rational, Nat. You're not really thinking about the consequences. You're the one who's not being rational. You don't need that. Besides, you owe me. Natalie. Damn you! What, what makes you so special, huh? What makes you the only person that deserves to live forever? Nick, please. The life I can give him is worse than death, Nat. Oh, is it really? Well, then why don't you just walk out in the sun and end it all right now? If what you have is so terrible, then just kill yourself. Here, let me do it for you. I have never asked you for anything but this. Don't you have any humanity? I don't know. You're the only one who ever thought I did. safe now. It hurts so much. What is your name? Elizabeth. Elizabeth, you're badly hurt. Don't look at me. We haven't much time. You're going to die. Good. That's what you want? Look at my face. Isn't that what you would choose? Oh, you don't know what it's like to be an outsider. 
They'll mark the day the leopard died with a grand celebration. The whole village will shout for joy. Please, would you bury me, sir? Elizabeth, shh. I can help you. I can make you well again. I can make you young, strong. I can give you power beyond your wildest imagination. I can make you immortal. Stop playing with me! You will be beautiful again. Beautiful? I would give you my soul for that. I do not require that. But you must become what I am. You must become a vampire. Got that look in your eye. We'll talk later. Here to renew old acquaintances. I need something from you. That's a promising start. Advice. You're such a grind. Have you ever brought anyone over? <laughs> well, I'm not exactly the mothering type. I'm serious. So am I. Why? Are you thinking of doing it? I'm considering it. A lover? No. A relative of someone who's very dear to me. He's dying. Then let him. It's not as easy as that, Jeanette. It's easier than doing what you're contemplating. So you have done it? No. I've never been able to stop myself at the right moment. You know, while there is still life in them, to bring them over and make them a vampire. I guess I'm just too much to blood and... <clears throat> I can't bring myself to stop until they are drained and I'm satisfied. My promise of eternal life is broken. But by then there is no one left to apologize to. I can control my urges. Yes, too well, I'd say. Few of us are like you. The one I'm thinking about bringing over is a good man. Pure of soul. No one is that, Jack. Oh, just a few minutes longer, I hope you can wait. Prepared for what will come later, the eternal bond. Your life and the others will be intertwined forever. I don't believe that. Think of Lacroix following you through the centuries. He wanted to control me, to be like he was. He was your father, your creator. He loved you. If you do it, just be certain that you take the responsibility. Problem? No, thanks. I already got one. Craven. Vanessa suddenly developed a case of laryngitis. We got a plan B. Stone Tree's gonna plead our case for us, but without Vanessa's testimony. Yeah, the fat lady's just sucked. Yeah, hey, you got that right. I mean, this stinks. We got circumstantial linking Craven to six killings in the last two years, and now our only witness is convinced we can't protect her. It's just another sweaty day in paradise. How's Natalie holding up? Man, oh man, talk about being in the wrong place at the wrong time, huh? Poor guy. It's not fair, is it? Dr. Lambert, I'm afraid there's very little we can do. A lot of his vital organs were very severely damaged. But he's a strong man. I know, but he's not superhuman. 
So his chances aren't good? I'm sorry, but I don't think he's gonna pull through. You're certain of that? A couple of days, a couple of hours. Does his wife know? She's outside. I'm sorry. How is he? He's dying, Nick. My brother's dying right in front of my eyes. Do it. I beg you. You must promise me to do what I asked. Promise anything. I swear it. I swear. Hurry! No, Richie, no. Nick, please. I can help you. I can make you well again. I can make you immortal. I beg you. But you must become what I am. Anything. Hurry! Young, strong, immortal. about every 10 minutes. Oh, excuse me. Oh, he, he didn't suffer at all. He died at 2.02 a.m. of total cardiac failure. Dr. Lambert, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'll need you to give me a hand. This is highly irregular. We can handle them here. Ah, uh, no, it would be better if I took him downtown. My brother's death is still part of a police investigation. Are you sure? Yeah, we're gonna need to take a look at his body. Huh? Excuse me, sorry to intrude, but uh, where do you think you're going with this body? Um, I am a uh, forensic pathologist with the city coroner's office. We have to take him downtown. I'm Dr. Gray with the Oregon Donor Program. And this man's a donor. He changed his mind. Richard's funeral, the grave, his casket. It had to look as though he actually died. A homeless man with no family or friends, he was buried in Richard's grave. I'm sorry we had to put you through it, but there was no other way. We saved his life, Sarah. We brought him back. You're really asking me to believe that there are vampires now in the 20th century and that you turned Richard into one of them? I don't believe you. He was dying, Sarah. Nothing could be done for him. Nothing. There was no other way to let him live. You're both crazy if you expect me to believe that. Nick is the proof, Sarah. Nick is a vampire. Right. You turned Richard, my Richard, into one. It's the truth. Just like that. Look, I know it's a big shock. Shock? You... Well, it is if I believe you, unless this is some kind of ridiculous, sick joke. Oh, it's not a joke, Sarah. You're a vampire? You kill people by... Nick is different, Sarah. And Richard will be, too. Oh. No! Let me... Will you two please leave? I've got a new alarm code. It's on the table. This is madness. No. It's a miracle.
Am I dreaming? Am I in heaven? Am I beautiful? Oh, yes. Very beautiful. How beautiful? As beautiful as Avon in the moonlight. The pain is gone, but I hunger. I will teach you to feed. I will stay your hunger. How can I ever repay you? Your smile is thanks enough. I know my smile is quite bewitching, sir. But even I must admit that it is not enough to repay you. You have eternity to make up for it. Eternity. Listen to the sound of that. Eternity. But you're not lying to me, are you? I am beautiful again, aren't I? Yes, you are. And you will live forever. Keep calm. Now yourself, Bridget. Stay calm. We have a lot to talk about. I'm hungry. I'm really hungry. Yeah. Yes, I know. This is unbelievable. Nick, what's gonna happen in my life now? You will live longer than in your wildest dreams. You will see life begin and end and begin anew. I taught Nero the tune, and together we watched Rome burn. I rode with Charlemagne and taught Genghis Khan the lessons of war. All of these opportunities I have given you. A life never threatened by age or disease. You are a blessed man, Nicola. I'm a vampire. How long have you known me? I fit in, don't I? If you try, your life can be pretty much like you left it. But you need to know some things. The sunlight will kill you. In time, you can gain tolerance, but for now, you've got to stay away from it. Fire will kill you. Fire will diable. Garlic will sicken and rip out. This is deadly serious. You can live forever. You can watch your child grow up. But you have to pay attention. Crucifixes will burn you. But my Sarah has one. Not anymore. This feels so strange. Completely healed. <laughs> oh my god. I feel I feel like I'm 17 again. You better get some rest. The sun's coming up. This is really happening, isn't it? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Sarah and Amy, when can I see them? When you're ready. What do you mean when I'm ready? Your urges and desires will always fight your reason. You have to control them. Elizabeth, no! That was glorious. Can you do that? Of course I can. Richard, don't make me sorry. Do me a favor, will you? Send some flowers to the prosecutor's office with my name on it. Thanks. You know, it troubles me deeply the way that Richard Lambert died. It should have been me who got him. 
But you know what they say, right? When life hands you lemons, you make lemonade. Sarah, are you all right? Richard? It's really you? Yes, absolutely, definitely me. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, forgive me. It's just... Incredible? I know. I, I know it sounds unbelievable, but it's true. I'm alive. Are you all right? I mean... Am I boringly normal, just like I was before? Yes. Oh, Richard. I want to believe it's true. I know I'm talking to you now, but... Honey, it's gonna take time. How's Amy? She's being very brave about your going away. Tell me I'm not imagining this, dreaming this, wishing it were true. You're not. I'm real. I love you. I can't wait to see you. When? Soon, honey. I hope it's gonna be soon. Real soon. New hobby? If for Natalie. I thought you were a happily married man. Her brother just died, Nick. I'm simply paying my respects. And I thought you were supposed to be the sensitive one. So Delgado's not coming out. She's not testifying. So what happens next? So Craven walks. That's what happens. Those damn bumbling bureaucrats down in the Crown office. The only one who knew anything down there is now a statistic. Of a woman was discovered by joggers in High Park early this morning. No word yet on her identity. Police officials have no comment. In a related story, Anthony Gill was arrested in connection with the murder of Jane Taggarty. Gill had been released on a day pass from Millville Medium Security. And to top it all off, charges have been dropped in the Saul Craven arrest. Craven, a reputed mob figure, was being held in connection with the murder of Tony Young, Victor Wong, John Billion. <laughs> Nick. Hi, Skanky. Uh, Natalie, these are for you. Um, Myra and I are both very sorry. Oh, thank you. In case Nick didn't mention it, the Crown Prosecutor's gonna throw everything he's got at that animal who shot Richard. I know, thanks. Rest assured, Nat, he isn't gonna see daylight for a long time. So, uh, when's the service? Oh, uh, we've already had it. It was very small, you know, just, just family. Richard wouldn't have wanted a big deal. But thank you very much for these, Don, and thank Myra for me, too. It's very sweet of you both. Nick, can I speak to you for a second? How is he? When can I see him? Soon enough. What is it? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. I'm just a little uneasy, that's all. You know how hesitant I was. It's gonna work out, I know it. Sarah's dying to see him. Soon enough. Yeah, I told you. Can't blame her for being impatient, though. Myra. Yeah, it's done. She loved the flowers. I said, leave her alone. I said, get out of here! She's tough. What? Natalie, it's 
good that you can accept death. It's gonna happen to us all, right? Yeah, that's what they say. I remember when Myra's mother died. It took her a long time to get over it. But then one day it was like she realized it's the way of the world. It's the way things are supposed to be. Myra lost her mother. And I lost a mother-in-law. 81 Kilo, 81 Kilo, please copy. 81 Kilo here. We have a reported homicide. Corner of Booth and Superior. We're on our way out. Booth and Superior, that's your neck of the woods, isn't it? There's a wild, wild story now. Uh, you're sure about this, huh? Okay, thanks. We'll get in touch. You're not gonna believe what I just heard. Try me. The lady said the guy who killed him did it with his teeth. Whoever we're dealing with here, let's just say he's given Chuck Bronson a run for his money. He's killed three people in three hours. He's on a spree. He isn't gonna stop unless we stop him. If you see anyone out there who looks suspicious, bring him in. And I wouldn't get too close to this guy. He's ripping people apart with his bare hands. All right, that's it. You know, Captain, considering the vermin this guy's getting rid of, I'm sure there are some folks that would say he's uh, doing our job for us. You wouldn't happen to be one of them, would you, officer? Just give me a taste of public opinion, sir. What are you doing here by yourself? Where's Knight? He was with me when he heard about the second killing, then he disappeared. No, I told you, everyone has been on good behavior. You're sure? No one would be stupid enough to make a kill so near here. It's not like we need any extra attention. Okay. Have you seen a man? He's about six foot tall. He's a convert. He might have come down here. He didn't. How could you? Why? I thought I could handle it. You have put all of us at risk. You should know better than anyone else that this power has to be controlled. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. You must find him. If they discover him, they may discover us. So I didn't say nothing. I know. But you thought about it. How scared? More scared than you're now. You're supposed to be dead. Shoot him. I was once the most beautiful woman in the country. They all did my bidding. And then the disease came and they turned on me. I'm paying them back for that. But why? They're nothing to you now. I have waited so long for this. I have prayed to be beautiful again. And I've prayed for this day when I could take my revenge. This is not what I wanted. No. But it is what I did. My brother did all that. My God, what happened to him? He couldn't control what he truly wanted to do. He wanted to make the streets safe. But all those people... Yeah, well, he's not the man he used to be, is he, Nat? He's lost some of his humanity. Well, how are we going to find him? Well, if he doesn't find shelter soon. Maybe that would be for the best. It's all my fault, Nick. How can you say that, sis? Besides, it's not your fault. 
It's his. Right, Nick? You were the one who gave me the power. I healed you. And you betrayed me. Then take your reward. It has been so long since I had a man beside me. Please. You gotta take the blame along with the credit. I am your creation. You want to take this away from me? I can't let you repeat what you did last night. Come on, you can control those urges, Richard. You can keep them down. <laughs> now, why would I want to do that? Richard, you're wrong. Please. I love you. Natalie, don't you understand? I'm the same as our friend here. I'm on the right side of the law. And now I have the strength to act. I've dedicated my whole life to putting people away. And that's what I'm gonna do. For good. It's wrong! What good were those people that I killed? I've missed you. It is really you. On the phone, I thought it was just a dream. Sarah, I love you. Seeing you again, it's, it's like magic. It is really you. Come to me. No, Sarah! What you saw in here did not really happen. It was a nightmare. You will forget it. Your husband died in the hospital and was buried. You came here to see Natalie. Sarah, are you awake? Are you okay? What happened? You fainted. I've never done that before. Nick, what happened to your face? Uh, it's just a stupid accident. It was nothing. I wake up in the morning expecting that I'll see him again. I even dreamed that he phoned me. Oh, it's too bad he didn't have a second chance. I know how you feel. Natalie, I know that none of this has been easy on you either, but... I want to thank you for everything you did for Richard. It was a lovely funeral. Sarah, would you like me to come home with you? No, not today. I need to spend some time alone with Amy. What are you going to say to her? 
I'm going to tell her that Daddy's death is something God wanted. Sure hope she can accept it. Be surprised. Sometimes children understand better than we do. <laughs>